In this video, I'm going to be reviewing Active Pieces. For those of you who don't know what Active Pieces is, this is an exciting tool that helps you automate your marketing and sales operations. But the real USP of this software is you can do this without knowing how to code. That's right, this is a no code solution. In other words, you can develop automated systems without knowing any coding or programming. It's all done for you. You just need to connect the dots. Hello, my name is Marty Englander from Brainy Automations and in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you everything you need to know about making an informed decision on whether or not active pieces is something worth investing in. And I'll also leave a special discounted link where you can bypass the monthly cost and just pay one fee and have it forever. I'll keep that link updated so you always get your money's worth. So here we are inside active pieces and straight off the bat, this is a clear, clean and modern interface. On the top right, you have how many tasks per month you can do and on the left you have your main navigation then your folders and to the right you will have all of your flows or let's just call them automations for this video so the first thing i'm going to do is just create a new folder and we're going to say these are our youtube automation because organization is really important so every single time we create an automation relating to youtube it's going to go in this folder next we're going to click on new flow and we have all of these done for you templates that we can utilize which is pretty cool and we can even filter them by the apps we want to use but we're going to build one from scratch just to show you how it's all done so we're going to click on start from scratch and then we're going to select our trigger and i'm going to connect youtube connect we're going to set the trigger to be a new video in channel and now we need to go ahead and get a channel id here i am on youtube and i'm going to go to this now usually in order to get the id of a youtube video you would need to right click go into view page source and you'll have to filter through this code to try and find the ID. But don't worry, Brainy Automations has your back. I've developed a little Google Chrome extension that will let you click and grab the channel ID. I'll leave a link to this plugin in the description below. Now we're going to go ahead and paste that ID in this field here. And now we're going to click load data. So now it's loaded all of the data and we can move on to the next step. We're going to click on this plus icon and we're going to say Google Sheets. We're going to do insert row, connect our Google Sheet document. And now once that connection has been established, we can select all the different sheets that we have in. So we're gonna go ahead and select this on title spreadsheet and we're going to mark all the first row headers. We're gonna say yes. And now it's showing the headers in that Google Sheet document. As you can see, we have video title and video URL and we have those right here. So what we can do, click on the input field, then click here. And now this is showing all of the data from that YouTube channel. So I'm gonna grab the video title and for the video URL, I'm gonna grab that as well. Then we can do test step. And if we jump to our Google Sheet document, you see we now have that data right there. Pretty cool. But we can take this one step further. We can add another step and we can add it to your CRM or if you wanted to even connect your email to send an email. So let's go ahead and do a connection. Connect and we'll go ahead and send an email to myself. We can make the subject video title and then we can say something the lines of new video by and then we can use the metadata to say new video by table tennis England and then we can say watch it here and we can add the link in like that. And if we do test step, that's now been successfully sent. So let's go to my emails and you can see I have this new email. If I open that up, we now have an email right there. We've got the video title name as the subject line. We then have our static text that we added and then we've got the link that will take us straight to that video. And then all you need to do is click public and now that will be automating without you over and over so you'll do that one thing once and boom it's now automated and will run whilst you sleep you can duplicate these or delete them then you can click on runs tab and this will tell you every single time these automations run without you and if they failed or succeeded this will show you all of your connections so in other words every single time you add an app to active pieces it will show you that connection so you can decide if you want to delete the connection or just see what's connected. You can also invite your team members to the platform just by clicking the invite button and entering in their email. Now, one final thing before we end the video and I share my thoughts on this, if you head over to your account and then click on my pieces, this is where you can install custom things into your platform so you can start using it. So if you click on add piece, this is where you can install it so you can start using your own 
own custom integration. They have more information in their documentation area, which is well categorized with plenty of examples and step-by-step -step instructions. What do I think of Active Pieces? It has a very similar feel to Zapier, but the only difference between Zapier and Active Pieces is the fact that Active Pieces you can buy for a one-time fee. Do I think it's as good as Zapier? Not quite yet, but these guys are still fairly new, so we need to give them Thai Velet. But if you're on a little bit of a budget, the price comparison is definitely a big win. And there is a ton you can do from blog automation, email marketing, to assigning or adding things to your CRM. Basically, it's limitless what you can do with these automations. Would I recommend Active Pieces? Yes, I would. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.